You need a financial advisor with the freedom to focus on your specific needs. Whatever your goals, Reed Potter can create a game plan tailored to you. Call Reed at 432-0777 at Pikeville, Kentucky to learn more. As the one-year anniversary of Kentucky's deadliest flood approaches, many are still feeling its impact. While over $281 million in federal funding has been distributed, 129 families still remain in temporary housing, with many more staying with family and friends as they work to rebuild. While many Kentuckians are still rebuilding, funds from the Eastern Kentucky Safe Fund and Team Eastern Kentucky Flood Relief are being put to work to aid in the recovery process. $440,000 in Team Eastern Kentucky Flood Relief funds have been distributed to cover funeral expenses, and $4 million were distributed in emergency relief checks. An additional $1 million has been committed to building and repairing homes. According to the Federation of Appalachian Housing Enterprises, 311 muckouts, rehabs, and new homes have been completed. The remaining portion of the $13 million fund has been committed to building high ground communities in Letcher, Knott, and Perry counties. In addition to the flood relief funds, $213 million was dedicated to EK Safe funds for cities, counties, school districts, state agencies, utility service providers, and road and bridge repairs. Since September 2022, over $31.2 million in funds have been distributed. The Appalachian Regional Commission has also distributed $5.3 million to Perry and Letcher counties to aid in building high ground communities. Several other nonprofits, including Pike County Relief Services, Eastern Kentucky Rising, God's Pit Crew, and more, have raised money for families and helped repair and build homes for those impacted by the flooding. While the recovery process will be ongoing for years to come, Eastern Kentucky is working hard to build back better and stronger than before. For updates on flood relief, stay tuned to Mountaintop News. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Brianna Robinson.